You know what the two biggest cons are against living in a mobile home? I don't have a boat dock or a helicopter pad. So what are you comparing this to? We're not trying to compare living in the mobile home here to a $27 million mansion that has a helo pad and a boat dock. What we're comparing is the place I lived before, which was a 4,000 square foot house, compared to here at the mobile home, which is 1,600 square feet. So I'm gonna run through five pros and five cons. And what I'm considering is cost savings and comfort level. Okay, so the first pro of living in the mobile home is money. One of the big reasons that I moved from the other place to this place, it saves me a lot of money living here. As a matter of fact, in this screenshot, you can see what I was paying for a mortgage. Like $1,700 of wasted money every month. That's a big pro living here. I'm saving that money. Okay, pro number two, one floor living. The old house, three floors. This place, one floor, basically like a rancher. When I was younger, I didn't mind going up and down stairs so much, but now I find I really like having one floor living. We found pro number three to be, this is the correct size. The correct size meaning we're not wasting money and time, heating, cooling, and cleaning the extra rooms that we never used. Number four, low maintenance. There's a lot lower maintenance on this size home than there was on the larger home. For example, I can cut the lawn here in 15 minutes. I'm not wasting an hour, hour and a half every Saturday cutting grass. Pro number five here, nice covered porch. It seems like an odd thing, but it's nice to have a porch to sit out on and watch the weather when it's raining or snowing or whatever. The other place, no porch. Okay, that's five pros. Let's jump to cons, and I have five of those. Okay, con number one, the other place had a three-car garage. Here, at the mobile home, no garage. I have a two-car parking space, which is off street, and that's nice. But I don't have a three-car garage. Okay, con number two. At the other place, I had a hot tub because I had a lot of room outside. Here, at the mobile home, no hot tub. Con number three. Because there was more room inside at the other house, I had room that I could have a pool table and a rec room and stuff like that. No pool table here. Con number four, I could have some extremely large parties at the other place because I had so much room. Here, I'm not throwing such big parties as I used to over there. Con number five, storage. I had a lot of room over there, so I had a dedicated place downstairs over there loaded with storage shelves. A lot of storage. Here, I have my shed, so I store all my holiday decorations and stuff like that in the shed. So the calculation that I did with these pros and cons was for me to be able to save as much money as I can in pre-retirement and still maintain my comfort level with where I want it. A lot of the calculation revolves around how much money do you want to spend and how much room do you need? Or are you wasting that room and you could be saving money? I hope this video helped you out and maybe you're in a similar situation where you're trying to decide how to move toward pre-retirement or move into retirement. If it helped you, hit that like and subscribe. I'll catch you next time.